it's a flipper's market, ladies and gentlemen. And I've got 10 comic books that are perfect for your collection or just right for a quick and easy turnaround. So go grab your vibe juice and meet me back here in the comic room. What's up, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of, you know, Keep It Comics. As always, I am your gracious host, C3. Before we get started, I want to take this opportunity to do what I always do, which is thank each and every one of you for stopping by checking out the channel. We are back with another top 10 list. I've got 10 comic books that are doing numbers on the secondary market. They're great books that you can add to your collection, but they're also good for speculation and flipping. All right, so whatever your part of the hobby is that you like, it's all good. Because over here, it's good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. We're just here for the love of the hobby. Whether you are collecting or flipping or both, you're in the right spot. All right? And as a bonus, if you stick around to the end, I'll show you what I picked up for new comic book day. Sounds like a deal? All right, let's do it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you ring that bell. So every time we do a video, you guys will get that notification. You are now rocking with the best. Coming in at number 10, we've got Marvel on the list. The title of this book is Silver Surfer, Ghost Light, issue number one. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Now, there was a last recorded sale for this book that was $44. This book is currently trending upward at 2.44%. There was just recently a high sell of $95. I'm gigging on this book because it is a beautiful Gabrielle Del Otto cover. This book is stunning. And I am looking forward to adding this to my collection. Right? So, and I'm also thinking in the future. So, maybe a few years down the line three, four, maybe even 10 years down the line. I'm comparing this book to Fantastic Four issue 72 and Fantastic Four issue number 50. Two iconic covers. But if you look at them, uh, they're, they're, those, were, those were the iconic covers from back then. Think of today and where we can go and where the future may take us, right? This book has the potential to be one of those iconic covers because the artwork is just so smashing. It's a beautiful depiction of Silver Surfer and his board while he's sitting there kneeling on that asteroid and, and the lighting and the color work of, of popping through space. So this is just a dope cover. And I feel that um, it is definitely worthy to be added to my collection. So if you also are in the market for Silver Surfer, Ghost Light, issue number one, this beautiful Gabrielle Del Otto artwork, keep your eye out on this book because it's definitely on the move. And we're going to keep it moving, too. Coming right in, coming in at number nine, we have another book. This book is from D.C., ladies and gentlemen. It's a 1 in 50 foil variant. And I'm talking about Batman, issue number 132. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, for all my art germ fans, this book is dope. I love this artwork. And I see this book picking up steam in, in, in just, a, just a few short weeks. This book should be picking up some steam. All right. So the last recorded sale for this book was $32. All right. There was a high sale of $83 and it has leveled off a little bit. So I see a perfect opportunity to buy this book. If you want to add it to your collection, it is what it is, man. You can't go wrong. Now, if you want to make a couple quick dollars on this book, you still are in good position to do that. Because uh, fair market value has this book resting at $32 for a raw copy in near mint condition. And again, beautiful artwork, Art Jim Lau, one of our favorite artists. And the and listen, it's a twofold because the story is on fire. The story is lit. So this is definitely one if you want to grab it, give it a read, you want to add it to your collection, however you want to do it. You want to make the quick flip, it's all there. All the signs are there for this book, all right? So if you are in the market for Batman, issue number 132, the 1 in 50 Art Germ Lyle foil variant, keep your eye out on this book because this book is definitely on the move, okay? Keeping it up to the list, let's see what we got at number eight. 
At number eight, we've got Dark Web Venom, issue number 16. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Now, here's the significance to this book, and I'll tell you exactly why I put this book on the list. This book is not going for a lot of money right now, which for me is perfect. I'm thinking in terms of the run, like this particular story arc that's going on, Al Ewing is really killing this story arc. This story arc is dope, right? So I'm thinking people are going to, they're going to you're going to want to put this run together and you can get a, you could have it in your collection because it's definitely a nice run, or you could put the run together and put it on the secondary market and get a couple of extra bucks for people who are going to be looking to get their hands on it because this one is going to move. And, and, and once the shelves dry up, they're going to need to get this run from somewhere. So if they're going to get it from somebody, <laughs> it might as well be you, right? That's how I feel too. Now, Check this out. The cover art is by Brian Hitch, which is, that's dope in itself. The last recorded sale for this book was $4. Perfect, low price point for buy-in. There's no, there's nowhere to go but up from here, all right? There was a high sale of $7, but fair market value has this book resting at $4 for a near mint copy in raw condition. And this is perfect because like I said, it's about getting this book at, at the perfect price point. You can buy it low, tuck, tuck it away, put it in your collection, let it be there. But other than that, if you want to make a quick flip on it, you can do that too, because this book is going to pick up steam. You've got Venom. You've got Dylan Brock. You've got little Normie Osborne. This book is insane. You're going to want to read this book. And a lot of others are going to want it also. So keep your eye out on this book. This is an awesome story, and it's definitely a sleeper hit. So if you are in the market for Dark Web Venom, issue number 16, keep your eye out on this book because it's definitely moving on the secondary market, all right? Now, coming in at number seven, we've got one of my favorite covers. This is strictly a cover buy, but I'm also anticipating seeing this book on the big screen. I'm talking about Alien, issue number six, with that cover art, by John, by, what's his name? John Barron. Yes. Just imagine seeing the alien queen in the movie. It finally gives validity to the reason why we see these things running all over the place, right? Uh, trying to infiltrate alien ships and, 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 and trying to implant their embryos inside human bodies, right? They, they, they're, trying to, they're trying to take over somebody's planet. And now we see why. There's a, there's a queen. So I, I'm just imagining seeing her on the big screen as they bring this story full fold and they bring it back to, to the movie theater, right? So I'm just thinking there's a strong possibility that this book could pop. This book could definitely pop. So I'd rather it pop with it in my collection than me not having it. So let's talk specs on this book, right? The last recorded sale for this book was $3. There was a high sale for $6. Now, Fair Market Value has this book resting at $4, right? And that's for a raw copy in near mint condition. Now, if the Alien Queen appears in a movie or they even get a hint that this thing is going to reach the big screen, you're going to definitely see this book climb up in value. So now's a good opportunity to get it. We can prepare for that. You don't have to wait till they're making an announcement and then everybody's trying to go after the book. Now's a perfect opportunity for you to get your hands on this book why you can get it for such a low price. You can still get it for a uh, pretty much cover price. All right? So if you are in the market for Alien, issue number six, keep your eye out on this book because it's definitely moving on the secondary market. All right? Excuse me. It's good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We have made it to the number six book on the list. This book is Batman and the Joker, The Deadly Duel, issue number four. Definitely. Look at this artwork. What does it remind you of? Well, in my mind, I'm comparing it to like a Rembrandt or a Picasso. <laughs> Nah, I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm, 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 I'm looking at this book and I'm like, yo, this book has the potential to be something, right? Because at the end of the day, this Liam Sharp cover is, this is dope. 
great concept. It's different, right? And I like different. Um, it's unique. It's 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 out of the box. It's out of the ordinary, right? And, and, and to me, that's what art is all about. Um, I like things that are different, things that stand out. Like where the average person may be like, oh, that's ugly. I go, wow, that's actually nice. That's a phenomenal piece. Very thought provoking, right? Why did he do that? It, 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 in my mind, it makes me ask a whole bunch of questions. So I love artwork like this. So let's talk specs on this book. All right. So this is the Batman and the Joker, the Deadly Duel, issue number four. This is the one in 25, uh, Liam Sharp variant. All right. Now, cover art by Liam Sharp. Last recorded sale for this book was nine dollars. Now, this book is currently trending upward, ladies and gentlemen, at 4.23 percent on the secondary market. All right. There was a high sale of twenty five dollars and there's been 38 copies of this book that have sold so far. And that also is intriguing about this book because it shows that other people are interested in this book, all right? Fair market value has this book resting at $9 for a raw copy in their mint condition. But this book was not heavily ordered. So that's another reason I like this book because this book has the potential of being one of those classic covers um, um, with a great story that was 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 under ordered right because everybody fell off during those first couple of issues so i see so much potential for this particular book uh in the future so keep your eye out on this book if you are in the market for batman the joker the deadly duel the one in 25 liam sharp variant keep your eye out on this book because it is definitely doing numbers on the secondary market all right so we've made it to our number five book on the list. And this is the halfway mark. And I want to stop, take this opportunity and thank each and every one of you for, got, for stopping by checking out the channel. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to share my love of comics with each and every one of you. All right. So here's what we're going to do. And this is a Tyler Kirkham variant from Unknown Comics. Yes, I had to put this on the list because this is one I've already pre-ordered it. I want to have a couple of these in my in my collection, but I also thought it'd be great for me to share this with the community because if you can get this book for the low buy-in of $10, you could probably put a couple away for yourself or you could put it on the secondary market and make a couple of dollars. There's also um, Virgin variants out there too that they're asking $30 for. So these are just great books for the collection. Perfect opportunities if you want to put a quick flip on them because they're all limited. Uh, the trade dresses were limited to 3000 and the versions were limited to 1000 Now, you can grab that set for like $29. So, you can go over there to um, Unknown Comics, check them out, see what you think about it. But I had to add this to the list because it's just perfect uh, for the buyer's market that's going on right now. And, and, then, and as I... I'm a great big fan of Miles Morales. It's one that I have to add to my collection. So if you too are in the market for Miles Morales, issue number four, the Tyler Kirkham variant, keep your eye out on this book. Go check it out. Keep your eye out on it because it's going to definitely move. As they continue to build this world up around Miles Morales, th these books are going to be some books that are going to be popping up. So you might as well get them while they're getting this good. All right? Get it while they're getting this good. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep the show moving. Coming in at number four. I know, I know. We've got another Miles Morales comic book, right? Now, this is Miles Morales issue number four, and this is the Lucio Perillo cover. Yes, another must-have comic for my collection, and I thought I'd share it with you guys, right? So, this is the 616 comic exclusive, right? And it's a great combination because there's a connecting cover to this. Yes, this is a connecting variant, all right? So, there's two pieces to this particular comic that I want to show you, all right? Now, this is great for your collection, or it's an easy, quick flip. You already know what it is. Now, the price for the trade is $10. And uh, the price for the Virgin variant is thirty dollars, right? So if you go on Big Time Collectibles and and, and and check for this book, you should find it, and it's also in Unknown Comics as well. So you got two spots that you can go find this book. All right. So 
If you want to get this connecting set, check it out. All right. Now, the other part to that is our number three comic. Our number three comic on the list is Spider Gwen Shadow Clones, issue number one. All right. Yes. So this is the other part of that particular set. Now, I would love to have both of these in my collection. So I had to order me a couple copies of this. I'm going to bring them on home and just put them in my collection. I'm going to stare at them for a little while as I connect them, but I'm definitely going to add them to my set. I got to have it. So I thought I'd share with you guys too. I've actually been on a hunt uh, lately for a lot of exclusive comics. If you guys have been watching, I've been trying to share those with you. So I just decided to add these to my top 10 list because I'm really uh, excited about these books coming out and me getting them into my collection. All right. So again, $10 for the trade dress, $30 for the Virgin variant. There are no specs on these books right now as they have not yet been released. So you can get your hands on this book as soon as possible, all right, before they all dry up. I'm trying to give everybody an opportunity to get some. You got to get yours because I'm definitely going to get mine. <laughs> all right, so moving right along. Coming in at number two, ladies and gentlemen, we've got another exclusive comic book that I'm adding to my collection, all right? Another comic that I think the community needs to know about is Marvel Voices Wakanda Forever issue number one. And this is the big time collectible exclusive John Gang cover art. Yes, and it is a homage, it is an homage to uh, Ultimate Fallout, Fallout 4, um, Miles Morales Ultimate Fallout 4. It's a homage cover. So I definitely got to add this to my collection. As you know, I've been going crazy over John Gang. Uh, I'm, I'm collecting John Gang like crazy. So when I saw this, I got super excited. And for all those who like grabbing books with first appearances in there, this book had a first appearance in there. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for you. It was actually just released today. So you have an opportunity to get your hands on this book still. Um, I ordered a couple copies for myself. I even sent out a couple of buzzes to people in the community, giving them a heads up. But I thought I'd take it to the camera and give it to the rest of you guys as well. Because like I always say, it ain't no fun if the community can't have none. So that's why I like taking this opportunity, sharing all these comics with each and every one of you guys. Because I just think everybody needs to know about these hot comics that are coming down the pipeline. All right? So keep your eye out on this book. All right? Marvel Voices. Wakanda Forever, issue number one. It's the John Gang exclusive homage to, uh, to Ultimate Fallout 4. Definitely get your hand on that. You're going to need it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've made it to our number one hottest comic book on our top 10 list. Without further ado, let's talk Arthur Adams. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have Storm and the Brotherhood of Mutants, issue number one, the 1 in 50 variant by Arthur Adam. This book is going bananas on the secondary market. So I had to share this with you guys. This book continues to move. It is a great cover to add to your comic book collection, but it is also, <coughs> excuse me. It is also still good for a great flip. There's still room in the market for you to make money on this book. This book continues to move on the secondary market. There's so much room for growth in this book. This book strikes me. This book has the possibility of reaching two hundred dollars if, if if we're not careful, right? I see this book moving. Um, I believe this book will continue to grow because it has the potential to do that. Arthur Adams is a great artist. He has a cult following, and I just think it's a possibility. So I definitely had to have this book in my collection before those numbers got sky high. I caught mine at about 55 bucks, but it continues to soar as I watch it on the secondary market. That's why I'm sharing it. You guys got to get this book before it gets out of range, all right? Now, and it's done so in such a short time. Um, I've checked the secondary market, and what I see so far uh, is that the last recorded sale for this book was $90, all right? And there was recently a high sell for $100. So this book has already done double ratio on the secondary market. 
this is why I'm encouraging you guys to go ahead and grab yours before it gets out of reach. All right. Now, with a 36, with a 39.26% increase in copies sold, I anticipate this book to continue to move up the ladder on the secondary market. All right. So if you are in the market for Storm and the Brotherhood of Mutants, issue number one, the Arthur Adams 1 in 50 variant, keep your eye out on this book because it is definitely on the move, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it is it's moving, so make sure you get yourself a copy. All right, now, for those of you who stuck around to the end, as I promised, I will show you what I grabbed from the comic book shop on today. I didn't go to my regular store, um, but I will make sure I go make my rounds because I got to pick up all my books. But I did manage to get to a spot today and I spent a, a, a couple dollars. I didn't spend a lot because I normally like spending up with my main supplier, but I did grab a few books, all right? And I want to share them with you guys. Slide them out of the bag here. I thank you guys for stopping by checking out the channel. I really appreciate you. Some of them are bag and boarded, some of them are not. I'm gonna share them with you nonetheless, all right? So, the first book I wanna show you is one that I'm really enjoying to read, um, and I can definitely recommend it, and I'm talking about uh, Gunslinger Spawn, issue number 17. Yep, and I definitely would have to agree with uh, that young guy, what's his name, uh, from Comic Elite, Kyle, from Comic Elite. Gunslinger Spawn, is probably the better of all the Spawn books that is out. I've read them all, but Gunslinger Spawn is the most exciting. It has the most action, and the story is the most, it, it, you can follow the story a lot easier than you can the other stories. Like, this one, you could tell, like, there's a lot of good time and energy going into this book. So, Gunslinger Spawn, issue number 17. I definitely recommend it. Tom McFarlane and Booth doing a great job on that. The next book I want to show you is my Marvel Voices, Wakanda Forever, issue number one. And I grabbed this beautiful blue variant. Just a beautiful cover. I can't wait to put this in the Mylar because I know that's gonna pop. There was, a, and like I said, there was a solicitation uh, in this book of a new character. Um, I'll let you guys figure that out for yourself, but definitely make sure you get your hands on a copy. Next up, I grab Nightwalkers, issue number two. All right. I grab Lost in, Lost in No Space, Star Wars, issue number 31. Enjoying this book as well. I've got Gunslinger Spawn. Issue number 17, and I think this is the B cover. I have Marvel Voices, Wakanda Forever, issue number one. I believe this is cover A. I have... Aliens, issue number six. I grabbed another cover. Oh, yeah, remember, I told you, like, I, you know, I grabbed these books, too. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't show you something that I wouldn't buy myself. <laughs> no, nah, I, I definitely, I get these books, too. All right, I have DC Universe, Lazarus Planet, The Dark Fate, issue number one. It's a one shot. Definitely had to have that. I have another Gunslinger Spawn, issue number 17. I like that cover. Can't you tell? You guys can tell. I like that cover, right? <laughs> yeah, I had to have it. And last but definitely not least, I grab Batman, The Adventure Continues. Season three, issue number two. All right. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen. So there you have it. I have given you your list. Be careful as you go out there and execute. Don't hurt nothing. Never jump out of the airplane without your parachute. This is the hobby. Enjoy the hobby. Have fun. No stress, no strain. You don't have to lose your shirt just to acquire a comic book. All right? It's all good. Enjoy what you do. All right? I appreciate you guys stopping by checking out the channel. Until next time, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and I'll be back. All right? You know what I always say. Don't hate, congratulate. Show some love because that don't cost you nothing. Appreciate. But no matter what you do, ladies and gentlemen, always keep it comics. Peace.